Hi, Toronto. Are you guys enjoying today? You know, I have a tough task today. You know why? Look at all the wonderful speakers who came on. My gosh. <laughs> Anyways, my name is Ming. I'm Sharon Rose Master, married in. <laughs> um, I just want to show you guys something first before I begin. Do you guys remember me? Actually, I want to know who remembers me. Yeah? Yeah. So, 2015, when we first joined, about two months afterwards, um, I got sent over to Toronto just to see the success. And uh, because, uh, actually, my passionate wife, Rebecca, you know, she got laryngitis. <laughs> she was too happy with uh, Adamy <laughs> that she talked too much. <laughs> So here I was, I was sent over, I go, whoa, what's, what's out of me? <laughs> I just started using the shampoo. And as I came here, the first thing I saw was, wow, this is a really big event. I was very lucky I got to meet CEO, uh, of course, uh, number one member, Mr. Yoon, and also the Komar president. So as you can see, it wasn't that long ago. We were just joining Atomy and look where we are now. I just wanna tell you guys this, it's all possible, okay? Yeah. You know, I'll tell you something from my heart. Um, I wasn't really involved or very interested in Atomy. Uh, as you guys might have seen uh, from some testimony of mine, um, you know, I've been doing real estate for 26 years. Uh, in Vancouver side, uh, specializing in investments. So it's been very lucrative for me. My career is very stable. You know, it's similar to a royal master or crown master. But you know, there was something missing inside of me. And actually, my wife brought it out. I saw her passion. You know, she was doing Atomy like nonstop. She's trying in the beginning first as part time. And as moving forward, we encounter a lot of problems. And I was watching her. It was a little sad in the beginning because I was watching her and I was going, we have nobody guiding us and nobody's teaching us. So for all the members that's out there who's starting new, I'll give you a little word of advice. This is what I actually, uh, about two years ago, uh, Mr. Uh, Park's brother came to Vancouver. He said something very interesting that's always lodged in my mind. He said, don't look at anything that's above you. Just start below you. And from that point onward, I was looking at my wife, I was going, my gosh, that's where we are. And that's how we're going to start. Of course, the journey was not easy when there was nobody else to teach you. No one ever taught us the compensation plan. Nobody taught us the products. But look, we're standing here. I want to let you know, we really have to thank Mr. CEO Park, because he set up a system that we can all learn. Just like nowadays, we all use Google, don't we? Yeah? We're all doctors, right? <laughs> so same, in Atomy, you can learn everything. And I'll tell you this, the best place to learn is actually at seminar. The people beside you, it's information. So talk to the people that's beside you whether they're sitting there having dinner with you or lunch or right now in between breaks, have a chat with them. They're going to share their journey with you. And guess what? That speeds up your process, right? Yeah. But I'm going to talk more about Atomy and how we succeeded. We all have dreams, right? When we're young, what happens? <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna roll back a little bit, okay, before the dream now, okay? I'm gonna talk about your city, Toronto. You know, how many of you guys know the real estate so expensive since you know I'm a realtor, okay? Look at 1930, how is Toronto like? <laughs> Not good, right? And then what happened in 2000? Holy, look at all the lights, right? Look at Toronto now. Wow. 
You guys live in a fabulous city that the whole world knows, right? Yeah. So same. Did any of you dream that Toronto would be like this? No. no. So like many of us, we have childhood dreams. But during our journey, what happens? We forget. Because we're busy working, busy raising family, or busy doing whatever we're doing. And we forget. So in Atomy, you do need to be very focused. And like many of us, the childhood dreams is just around the corner. Don't forget it because it can come true. <laughs> you notice you're all superheroes, right? But I want to tell you a little journey about us uh, before we joined Atomy. Um, because I was a striver too. Uh, I had a goal that I had to meet uh, because, you know, raising a family was not easy. So I'm gonna tell you the secret to my success, which I'll tell you. I'm just gonna speed through because uh, we're running out of time a bit. Um, when we got married, I was, we didn't have any money. Just, I had barely enough money to buy a condo, small condo, and we were negative. Everything was negative. I think you guys all experienced that before, right? Yeah, for sure, right? So we started with a small little condo. This is back in 1996. And of course, raising a family was not easy. And do you remember what happened in 1997? I don't know about your side, but in Vancouver, you got it. The market crashed. So how hard was it? It was very hard. Especially even in my career, it was very difficult. I survived two corrections, but I still kept moving forward. And that's a driver. You have to have the driver inside of you. In 2010, this is what happened. Even though the economy went down, I did not give up in real estate. I took time to learn more. I learned about construction, all the different things that's needed. You can always improve yourself. Just like anatomy, you can do the same. So in 2010, we were able to achieve our dream house. How many of you actually, when you first started, when you had nothing, you look at the people around you and you go, wow, how come they get to live in that big house or that beautiful neighborhood or have that swimming pool in the back? We dream that, right? So is that a dream? Can it be reality? It can be. And you know why? Because you guys are here right now. All you need to do is set your goals. I'm telling you, that's their secret. When I was very young, um, my parents, we didn't have any money. We immigrated in Canada in 1976. We were renting a basement. But you know, as any little kids, you have a hobby, right? You wanted to maybe buy stuff that you like. Of course, I love comic books. I'm gonna tell you a little passion of mine that I had when I was a kid. But nobody knows how big this passion is now. You know, comic books, when you wanted to buy when you were a little kid way back then, it's hard because most of the times your parents don't support you, right? So you have to go make your own money. So I deliver newspaper, every single kind that existed <laughs> to make enough money to fund my addiction. So that was my goal. So of course I bought a lot of comic books, I collected it. But do you guys know how much those books are worth now? I'm not gonna say how much it's gonna worth, I want you guys to do some research at home because another goal of mine came true. So goal setting, how many of you guys set goals? Okay, that's in your life. I'm gonna put it in more specific terms. How many of you guys set goals in anatomy? Okay, you know what? All your hands should be raised up here, guys. <laughs> Did you not say this one's gonna do it? It will. So goal setting is one of the biggest key components. It's the beginning. Do you guys not want balanced life? I know you guys probably looking at me go, that guy's a real estate agent. He's hit the jackpot for 26 years. <laughs> you guys don't know what I went through. <laughs> but you know, I tell you this, it was the balanced life that's what I was looking for. Even though right now I'm still looking for the balanced life, but I actually found it recently, anatomy. I saw the passion in my wife, how she was trying to make Atomy work. And as any spouse, remember we're partners. And I saw she was moving forward, she was finding difficulty. 
So I said to myself in November, I said, I'm going to give her a hand fully. Like when you commit to someone in marriage, you do the same. And you know what I said to her? I told her, one year. Give me one year, I'll get you to the next level. And that was in November. I achieved the goal earlier, July. As I said, we had no, nobody was guiding us, nobody's helping us. Sharon Rose is a new thing to us. All I know is I remember seeing three people standing on stage here, <laughs> getting their award. So that was my driver. I go, you know what? We're going to get there. So you guys can do the same. Each level, set your goals. You will achieve it. Be determined. Because if you're not determined, how are you going to achieve your goal? <laughs> look at that little baby. I mean, look how determined he is. I think that's a very famous picture there, right? And I'll tell you this. I know you guys are thinking the people beside you are your competitors. Am I correct? No? Okay, okay. I'll let you guys go this time. <laughs> but every morning when you wake up, when you look in the mirror, who do you think you see in there? Yeah. That's your competitor. You need to fight against yourself. You know why? Because you're the one who's going to defeat it. I'm telling you this now. Every single day, when you have a rough day, you're going to give up. Just look in the mirror and go, that's the guy that I need to beat. <laughs> and I tell you guys, you guys can do it. You know the third step to the success system? By the way, you know, I just to let you guys know, uh, I'm very privileged to be up here. Um, I haven't really mastered the eight steps yet. <laughs> I am trying my best to follow it. But, you know, feel free. If you need to jump from one to four or seven or eight and two, go backwards, no problem, okay? So step three, nameless. How many of you actually created a nameless? Raise your hand if you did. Okay, raise your hand if you didn't. <laughs> so to prove a point, even though I did not or she did not even go through a nameless, it's all possible. Do you know why? In this company system, remember, it's not only you. There's people around you. They have a nameless. Be supportive. Support them. Their nameless is your nameless. And it keeps growing, right? Yeah. yeah. Simple formula. Phone calling. I know nobody phone calls anymore, right? Everyone's on WhatsApp, WeChat, Facebook Messenger, right? You name it. Nobody talks anymore, <laughs> right? Ask the young guy there. He probably goes, no, don't phone me. <laughs> you can message me. <laughs> and you know what? Messaging is same as calling somebody. It's even faster. Now it's so easy, thanks to Facebook, just create your Facebook account, connect with a friend who has 2,000 contacts, it's going to interconnect, am I correct? <laughs> so it speeds up the whole process. Step five, show the plan. How many of you guys thought of a plan when you joined Anime or when you start focusing on the business side? What? Not many of you? <laughs> You don't have a plan? Well, don't worry, actually. I tell you this. The plan's already in place. You don't need to think. Just keep walking. It's already there. The secret is already in the center. You see there, no sign-up fees, no monthly auto ship, no annual fee, no website fee. That is the secret. You will be able to get it. And, but the main thing is you got to learn about the company's plan. Even though you don't understand it, at least learn the basics. It's important to express that to people, to explain, right? And for your personal growth too, you should understand it. Don't need to understand it fully right away, but as you walk in this journey, you will understand it. It will appear in front of you. Follow up. Oh, I know this one's tough. Nobody likes to follow up. 
who does, right? Especially maybe somebody signed you on and then they left you. They went back somewhere. <clears throat> it's okay. You don't need them. You got the company, right? So in the success, eight step success, it teaches you to follow up within 48 hours. Why? Yes, they won't forget, first thing. Second thing is, you know, you give them 48 hours so they can actually try something. If they didn't try it, you can remind them. But if they did try it, now you can point them out. So you guide them. Guidance is important. This follow-up is very important because it only works in the first 48 hours. If you call them one week or two weeks later, what happens? They say, who, who are you? <laughs> what, what, what? <laughs> You, you're, the, you're my sponsor? <laughs> I, I don't remember. Oh, I remember now. See, it takes them that long to remember you, right? <laughs> so the success is within a certain time frame to follow up. Seven, consulting or counseling. How many of you want to be counselors? What? Nobody want to be counselors? It's a key component in this. Did I not just say you have to look below you? Mm-hmm. You got to help the people underneath you. When they have issues, you know, even though it's not anatomy related, guess what? You're going to have to sit and listen. This is important. It's a bonding, right? Even in our journeys, which is not very long in this two and a half year, um, I did not know so much about our members. Things that I shouldn't know, now I know. But it's all good, you know? Like any psychiatrist, you have to keep it confidential, right? <laughs> okay, the last step. I think this is the most important step. Why do you think duplication is important? Are you Lone Ranger? Are you gonna do this by yourself? No. no. Even Lone Ranger has Tonto. Am I correct? Yeah. yeah, and then guess what? Tonto has some other crew, right? <laughs> They usually have more, right? So you see, you need to duplicate yourself. The key component of this, as he explained in there, it's not copying. Why? Why is it not copying? What's the difference between copying and duplication? Um, this is how I'll interpret it to you. Copying is just like an instant duplication. So I find that misses a lot of components. It misses the natural growth part. So for example, if you just copy somebody, let's say, oh, he's doing this well, I'm just gonna copy that right away. You miss all the initial part that he did to get where he is at now. Am I correct? But if you duplicate somebody, it needs the nurturing time. Like a tree, how he explained in the video. You need to get the seed, plant it, grow it. Then it's a duplication of yourself. So this is a key component in your success in Atomy. Perfect yourself. <laughs> Duplicate yourself. Because it multiplies. Why would you want just one of you? Wouldn't you want a hundred or a thousand? A million of you? Of course. So just to summarize the eight steps as you can see there, it's not a very big list. There's only eight steps to this success. It's not like there's a hundred. Even if there's eight, start with four. You'll get there. So just to tell you, my, uh, my little success story is I did not do all eight steps. But of course, some of the steps. The key steps I tell you is attend seminars. You might wonder like, no, I go to seminar, one day seminar, it's the same. They play the same thing, right? How many of you guys feel like that? Oh, good. This is totally different from them, Vancouver. <laughs> As you can see, if you understand that concept, when you go there, you get to meet a lot of people. There's always this different testimony that's come on. They always have special guests. You know, star masters come on. They give you their testimony. Royal masters come on, right? And look at the new members that join. Maybe they found something new that you should learn. Do you see in the middle picture there? Although I'm holding, I'm doing the mask. What color is my mask? 
Yes, it looks a little bit like the Incredible Hulk. <laughs> oh, sorry, Shrek. <laughs> but as you can see, there's many ways to do things, right? All you need to do is improvise sometimes. And as you can see, the company model there, follow those four steps. Cherish the spirit. Create the vision. Right? That's almost like your goal. Right? Follow the faith. Faith will guide you. Serve in humility. Why is that one so important? I'll answer this last one in a different way. Recently, I had a member that asked me, um, are you going to retire soon? Because they were worried. And as I told them, I go, why would you think that? Because they had the assumption that once you reach a certain level, you will no longer be doing Atomy. And I told them, did you not watch the modal, the last one, what it means? I will be here to serve you. And that's what I told them. And not only my members, but company will arrange us to always help you all. That's why we're here to share what we've learned, our journey, so you can succeed. My little secret is I have a lot of little passion that comes up when I was doing anatomy. Even though I'm manning the front desk, do you see the picture there? Yeah. What do you think that anatomy is made from? Yeah, probiotics. So I was sitting there and nothing to do, but I was being a little creative, right? Yeah. And then when I travel on vacation, look where I was. Look at the black and white picture. I was in Taiwan. Yeah. And I was just visiting a center. And then the lady invited me to go to the one-day seminar. It was a great experience. Actually, that was such a good experience that I couldn't even believe it. You know how many of you wonder, you know the people who sit over there on our uh, left-hand side? You see that table? You guys wonder, when's your chance to sit there? Am I correct? <laughs> well, you know, when I went to Taiwan, I was just a diamond master. But um, one of the Sharon Rose master told me, he goes, you've been standing there at the seminar for almost two hours now. I think you're very tired. I go, would you like a seat? And I was going, it's a full house here. Where are you going to get me a seat? So he goes, no, 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 don't worry. Just follow me. And guess where he took me to sit down? <laughs> that was my first experience sitting over there. That was only six months ago, by the way. <laughs> Just for you guys to set some goals, I'm going to tell you my little secret. Since doing Atomy, um, although I really wasn't participating fully, but what I did was this. I made a little hobby of mine. I said, I'm going to collect as many Star Masters, Crown Masters, Royal Masters, and imperial masters, <laughs> picture as possible. This is just some of my collection. Have you guys started yours? Yeah, I think you should, right? Yeah. So, you know, it really will help you because guess what? If you're taking a picture with that person, isn't that you're going to be like that person soon? Yeah. And for those of you who's just starting, start, you know, the next level up. Go to the sales master, diamond master, right? Take a picture with them. Talk to them. They're going to share their knowledge with you, okay? But I'm very happy today that I got the opportunity to share our success story with you. And I can see you all will succeed in this company for sure. <laughs>